Nick Grimshaw is right here. We know him for many things, including, of course, he worked for Radio 1 for all of those years. He's now about to release the latest series of his podcast, Podcast Dish. Congratulations on the podcast. You've had some Thanks. great guests. And Angela's lovely, isn't she? I love Angela. Yeah, she's good. She she's doesn't take no nonsense. She does take no nonsense. And I like at that. All. Because sometimes you need to be reined in. Yeah, she's got that <laughs> chef quality of being like very charming, yes. but you ain't messing. No, like, no, no. It's very, You're not. you know, it's serious. Because she worked for Gordon Ramsay she for did. Seven, uh, 17 years, I think. Wow. So she's got some of the, the Gordonisms. Indeed. You know. Indeed. Yeah. And it, but in, a, in, a, in a lovely, <laughs> in a nice in a way, in a way, charming in a way. Of course. Yeah. So have you learned a lot about food? Yeah, because Angela's very chilled about it. Although she's worked at all these amazing restaurants yeah. and got an MBE, OBE, Michelin star. She always says something which I always loved she's like it's only a bit of food yeah, yeah like she's not pretentious about it and right. she's just like don't stress out if you've got people coming for tea no one is coming to your house like ready to judge exactly. Do you know what i mean everyone's just coming around for a nice bit of tea so she's like don't stress out yeah it's a nice bit so of tea. that's that's my biggest tip that i've learned is just not to be stressed out just don't let it stress you out what do you cook for people because i'm not a cook I are you not i no, do no, i do a no. pasta do a good of angela's pasta ah, dead easy right. and if i say this is Angela's recipe. People are like, oh, 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 oh well. must be good. <laughs> it must be good. <laughs> it must so you've be good. won them over already. Yeah, just you've like absolutely a really easy won them Angela over already, pasta. which is so so good. Yeah. Now look, soft lad. Your yes. book did incredibly well. It's out in paperback now, but it's also got a bit of an extra. Yeah, so the a, hardback a came extra. out last uh, October. Yeah. And now the paperback's out this week, comes out on Thursday. Right. But you can, you can order it now if you want, Lorraine. You can. If you well, want. Yeah. One. Oh, you've got one. one. Don't got, order it. Got you've got one. one. Here. Don't order two. And it says, hilarious and quintessentially Nick, and that's Dua Lipa. Yeah. Said that. And she you. likes her books. She does. So, yeah, she read it and, and kindly gave that quote. So, yeah, this one's got a new chapter. Um, because the, the hardback was all about me looking back on childhood. Mm. It's not an autobiography, but it was sort of coming-of-age stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So stories on, like, growing up and, um, you know, figuring out what I wanted to do in my life and trying to accomplish my dream and nights out in my 20s and, like, not being in love and finding love. So sort of all, all coming-of-age stories, yeah. really. And then the chapter that I wrote for the paperback wanted to look forward rather than looking backwards. So I've, I've, I'm 40 next year. Never. I am. So I wrote about turning 40 next August and how that makes me feel about growing ah, up. And do you feel grown up at all? I do feel grown up now. Do you? But I don't think I felt grown up. I, I don't think until I was about 31 right. did I think, like, maybe I should have a glass of water <laughs> and, like, do some exercise. <laughs> so I don't think I really... Like, I think I behaved like a teenager until I was about 30. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, so I just wrote about growing up and the changes that I brought to my life and excited about growing up and, right. you know, like, my mum was 80 this year and my mum's like still going on girls holidays Lovely. and like still has girls nights and like yep. you know yep. 80 to me when I was growing up like 40 sounded old yeah do you know what I mean when you're little you're like 40 I imagine being that old imagine <laughs> and then I look at someone like my mum who's 80 and I'm like oh my yeah. god like age it's not really a, no, it's not, not really a thing is it no we're just going to be talking about that with Louise yeah you know, how to keep feeling young and I think yeah. it's all about what is in here totally not I so much what is. you look like but yeah. what's happening in here you know still have that curiosity yeah. so as a grown-up adult responsible person <laughs> coming into 40 when are you going to get married for goodness oh sake? my god i actually don't know <laughs> i'm gonna to have to take you I in hand i and, swear and we've been on you. here talking about yeah. getting engaged that was about five years ago <laughs> it's a while ago <laughs> so yeah we got engaged i got engaged like nearly two years ago yeah. and when we got engaged we were like let's not be them people that get engaged and then talk about their wedding for the next two years or right. five years. And you are that And that, that's us! <laughs> um, so I don't know when we're going to do it, but hopefully soon. I think we're just going to stick a date in and then figure it out. Yeah. Angela's advice was, like, just put a date in yeah. and then whatever happens, happens. Yeah, exactly. Like, OK, nice no, advice. Exactly. Nice, stressful advice. And your wee dogs, you've got two wee... Is it two yeah. you've got? Yeah, I've got Tell two. Tell me their names. Pig and Stinky Blob. Pig and Stinky Blob. Yeah. <laughs> So I got to, well, <laughs> Pig makes a noise like a pig. Oh, that's fair enough. And she's like a bull terrier, so oh, she's perfect. sort of that white, pinky colour. Right, you And then Stinky bl Blob, um, they're both from Battersea. When I got Stinky Blob, he smelt really bad and oh. he was like a little blob. Oh, well, that makes so sense. So Stinky Blob. So if It was do... a nickname, but then it stuck. But then it stuck and it, it does. It stuck, yeah. So when you, and if you, <laughs> yeah. you decide to have kids, um, don't name them that. No, I'm not going to do, <laughs> I'm not going to do the weird name. <laughs> I don't know. Fred or 
or yeah. Margaret. Yeah, Margaret. And <laughs> That's a good Dave. Name. Baby yes. Dave. Proper. Yeah, Robert. Nigel. Do you ever see yourself as a dad, though? Do you... I don't know. I wrote actually yeah, in no. this um, this new chapter about yeah. you know thinking about what are the markers of turning 40 and you know like my friends are married and my friends have had kids or yeah. got like two kids and I'm thinking are we going to have kids and some of my friends come round and they're like ah oh, love coming round to your house we know kids don't do it <laughs> and then some people are like you should do it it's no. dead fun <laughs> so I don't know it's a discussion we're always having sure I think you both would be such cool dads oh, thanks. you'd be great dads it'd be fantastic look I'm dish I'm looking forward to thank the you next should come on it. I would love to it's really fun yeah, yeah. I'd love to it's, it's, it's a blether it's a chat yeah and talking about grub is you know happy Ideal. days yeah. and and good luck with soft lad the paperback version thanks Laurie. but you are hilarious and quintessentially you yeah I am so that's that apparently. Thing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good to see Thank you. Thank you. Louis.